Hi guys, it's the Crazy Four here with your Thursday spot on Bag and Perspective, as per usual. So, this week's topic, we are discussing sky clad or ritual clothing. I'm not gonna lie to you right now, I am only wearing this mask and cloak right now. Okay, soak that up, soak that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. Um, no, I have got clothes on them to here. So, as I said, it's Wade Rowan with your Thursday Spot on Pagan Perspective. For any of you new viewers, you can add my profile, which is down there. Haven't put a few videos up in a while, will be doing that this summer, so yeah, don't hold it against me. Um, right, anyway, so what was I saying? Yes, sky clad or ritual clothing. Everything visual is really important to me. Spell work, I always go that extra mile with the ribbons, with the colours, everything. It's just, it's just something that drives me, it's a stimulant. It gets me in that mood. I need that extra bit of visualisation to get me into that mode. Um, and I also think putting in that extra effort for me feels like I've gone through that extra ed effort to dedicate to the God and Goddess. For example, if I'm doing a candle spell, if I'm in ritual, I want to be able to do those extra ribbons, those extra little bits and pieces that make it special, that make it a little bit different to an everyday spell. Um, and also, I want to make myself a little more presentable. Um, just out of respect, really. And, and that's what I find in myself. I like to push it that extra mile. Now, I'm not saying I wear my cloak, which is this, which I'll get to in a minute. Every circle, I wear this purely for rituals on Sabbaths or something really important. For example, um, if we're doing vanishing spells, if we're doing things like that. Um, it, it, it kind of fits into the important um, box. Um, so, it really depends. But like I say, I personally feel that that visual... Um, stimulant is important for me and I know a few people that can't even meditate without a visual stimulant and for those of you who can't find it hard to meditate um, actually meditating into a flame and a candle actually helps because I know there's a few people that have that problem and it's never really been addressed so there you go um, so like I say it's important and when I'm doing candle magics I have to have those extra bits Sabbaths, I have to do those extra bits. It just like, lets me get in the mood, and I think it's probably because I'm an art student. Um, but that little bit, that extra mile for me is important. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go all out. Um, it's what works best for you. And I knew straight off, as soon as I started the craft, that I needed to do that extra more, extra bit more for me to feel comfortable in what I was doing. And my first few pieces of um, work I wasn't happy with myself how I was presenting myself I was doing them but I wasn't happy with myself and also a lot of my YouTube videos you can see that in that at that time I wasn't comfortable with what I was saying to people either um, because I didn't feel like I was doing it right so that's why I deleted quite a few videos um, so now I understand where my approach is and what I enjoy and I've even discussed it with a few friends of mine who we're hoping to have a create a coven um, as soon as we come out of university and finished all that and settled back down in life um, and we've come up with so I know this isn't so stupid but I just want to share it with you which they're probably going to be annoyed at but it's fine they'll be fine <laughs> we've come up with a concept that we kind of all want to go with the elements and if there's four of us maybe even if we're lucky enough we'll we specifically work with an element like I work with water um, so I would have blue lining in my cloak and specific runes around it um, etc that specifically focus on that and I would focus on certain things um, to help uh, it kind of attributes to who we are really and at the moment there's three of us um, who have got our own elements completely different and we are very different people and when we are discussing together, I think it kind of shows our unity. It's weird, but you kind of get the idea. I just think it would be nice. But if we come to the conclusion that that isn't going to work, um, we've come up with the idea that maybe we'll just have them all lined in purple. This is why this isn't lined yet, um, because it's not that I couldn't afford it. Well, it is. But um, I also decided to wait out to see if I could do anything with it, because this is my first cloak, and I treasure the fact that it's my first cloak. And I wore this to the witch's ball the first time I wore it, so um, it's important to me. Um, especially considering I went with Arienda for our first witch's ball. Oh, such a lovely time. <laughs> um, it was a really good night, actually. We actually walked through the streets like this at 2 o'clock in the morning with our cloaks blowing in the wind and people looking at us like we're a bunch of freaks, which usually happens anyway, so we used to it. Um, no, but it was really, really fun. Um, so, yeah, I'm just totally getting sidetracked. But, yes, yeah, Skyclad, then. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm mature enough to do that. I really don't, and I don't think I'm ever going to be mature enough to stand there um, 
I think it depends on who you're with. If I'm on my own, I'll be fine, of course. Um, but if it was in my coven with friends, first of all, I don't think we could ever do that, just simply because of the mindsets we've been brought up in. Um, I just think it would be quite awkward, and it would also actually be hilarious, and I don't think I'd be able to stop myself from laughing. I just feel <laughs> uncomfortable, um, surrounded by a load of nagging men and women. I just, I don't know. I just... I think it literally is the kind of mindset and generation I've been brought up in where um, not wearing clothes is such a hilarious thing. I mean, back in the day, a lot of people used to um, get naked in front of all family members uh, all the time. And it wasn't necessarily that kind of um, that thing that degrades you. Uh, and so I just, I don't know. For me, I'd like to do it. And I, I understand the sense in like letting yourself out into nature completely but I just don't think I would be able to stop myself from creasing up and <laughs> laughing because I am just incredibly immature like that and I just I just couldn't um, so yes yeah, so a ritual clothing is important and I, d I don't just have this cloak I also have a top which I've kind of retired for now because everybody seems to be borrowing it for costumes so I'm just like you know what that isn't really magical to me anymore it's not really part of the ritual so this cloak will always be because I'm not going to use this for anything. And like I'm going to masquerade on Saturday, and I was thinking maybe I should wear my cloak. And I thought I just felt no. I just I just this is important. This is for one use and one use only. And I specifically want to keep it to that because it's important that I just do that just for me. So um so yeah so that's what I do. I it's important to me, really important to me, and um, I also wear my pentacle, obviously, which is gone a bit rusty now, so I'm just cleaning it out with some silver wipes. Um, it hasn't got a chain at the moment, I need a new chain. Um, and so yeah, I've not got really anything else exciting to tell you. This video is probably really long actually. Um, so yeah, I love ritual, I love wearing my cloak, and if I could wear it every day, I probably would. Um, because I just think it's beautiful. I just like this kind of era of clothing. Um, kind of the, the era that inspired the new romantics in a way. But um, not in that style, like the proper fairy tale kind of style. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now because I'm probably boring you. So, I hope you all have a fantastic week. Um, I also hope you all had a brilliant litha. Um, I missed out on litha. Um, and it's really sad, actually, because I really wanted to do something. And unfortunately, my friends are all away at uni and on holiday, and so I literally was sat down here watching that. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I'm not going to bore you with the story. I was doing something. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't do much for Litha, and it really did quite annoy me because Litha is one of my favourite ones. So hopefully, for um, Lamas, Lunasar, um, I'll do something exciting. Well, I've planned to do something exciting, so we will see. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed for me. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you for everybody who um, hoped I'd get better because I have got better. I'm feeling fantastic now. Um, so yeah, um, hope you all have a fantastic week and bliss it be. Peace out.